Hey everybody, welcome to Anarchy, the podcast about anime with your brothers. I'm Ben. And I want to be done with this so I can go eat Azel's fried chicken. Azel's fried chicken? Azel's fried chicken. Azel's is amazing. They're the best fried chicken in, the, in Seattle. I'm somewhat jealous. Unless, unless you like Korean fried chicken, in which case you go to Bok Bok, so I've heard. Bok Bok? Bok Bok. That's a delightful place for chicken. Be okay, be okay. I, Bok Bok. That's amazing i love it <laughs> i hear it's spicy though so i don't know <laughs> yeah so this week we're going through the fall anime season list and see what's worth watching question mark yeah bok bok if there's a show named bok bok i'm 100 percent watching that so if you want to follow along as of the 6th of october we are going through any chart fall 2018 sorted by popularity in ascending order yeah, reverse popularity, which has been the best innovation that we have ever come up with. Yep. Um, that is your claim to fame. It's far more interesting. I know. We all know what everybody thinks is popular, but we have to work our way there. So let's see, what do we have first for this season? Uh, Kira hamsters. Kira <laughs> Happy Hirake, which is about... Uh, Kokotama. You know what these look like? Pastel hamsters. No, I was going to say they look like Precure mascots, to be 100% honest. I mean, you're not wrong. What What's the uh, synopsis here? The new series will focus on a new protagonist. So I guess and it's, uh, I... Kokotama, god born from her precious ribbon. Are we sure this isn't a precure? I, I can't say for certain. Sounds like it's got some Shinto in it. I, I think 36 people think it's precure. A whole 36. A whole 36. Wow. I like this next show because it looks like Ava, it looks like Berserk Ava 01. It does. On the cover of its thing, doesn't it? But it also looks like... Uh, it's some card game show. Yeah, I was going to say that uh, that watch. What is that watch? Yokai watch? Yeah, that one. Yokai watch. Yeah. Looks like that. Bakutsuri oh, Bar Hunter. Oh, it absolutely is. Because uh, bar is in barcode. Yeah, I got it. Here's my... Here's the favorite thing is uh, this anime will center on elementary school uh, student Tota. And his personality trait is who loves to fish. That's what he does. He gets some barcodes and fishes for fish bar for souls. Barcodes? Yeah, I don't know. Mm. I mean, I guess it's an anime. It's probably some AR game or some. So such what I'm getting nonsense. from this is a bag of potato chips. Told him, "Join me, and you'll become fishers of men and their Ooh. bar souls." <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, some hmm, must be some AR game. It's based on a video game, so it's got to be like some kid app, right? Well, 51 people think it's cool. And at least one, per- many- one person says it's their favorite. So Moody. I mean, if Impossible. you know what you like. Impossible. Let's see. What we got next? Oh, uh, let's see here. Uh, Inazuna 11, Orion no Kokyun. Mm, this series will center on a team made up of successive generations of Inazuma 11 characters. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. But they'll face teams from around the world. Uh, it looks uh, like a Kosho sports is, show. It, yeah. Soccer, maybe? Well, hold on. Here's the prequel. He's not 11 Aries, no 10, 10 B. There's a whole bunch of these. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's the parent is uh, Inazuna 11, and it is soccer. Okay. So this is at least grounded in something resembling reality. So at least we've got that. Well, I don't know about that. Because <laughs> I was about to say... I don't know. It's got a popularity of 116. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess soccer's popular. Ooh, they added this new thing called with status distribution, uh, showing how many people are planning to watch it. Huh. Oh, like you have to physically click the show. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a lot. of. You're asking a lot. It's a lot of work. <laughs> that's a lot of work. All I know is it's more of this baseball show that maybe we should finally watch it. Got a zini. I remember talking about it last week. It's got a second season. When did the first season come out? Wasn't it just last season or the season before? Uh, let's find out. It was I know how, season it at least before. Means that this was. I'm glad season. that baseball is still better than soccer. It is better than soccer. Well, let's see. It's got a popularity of 148, so could be good. I do like the uh, the cover art of the guy standing on the pitcher's mound holding a baseball with money falling out of it. Yeah, I'm down. Because I remember the first thing was all like money ball, essentially. Yeah, yeah. Okay, up next is Soten no Ken, Regenesis 2, which is the second you season know, I, of Regenesis. Some 
of some show. Some show. Sword fighting. I don't know. Oh, this is that redo of uh, this is North Star. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ken. Sure. Yeah. Ken. Yeah. Uh, o- Omoe um, de Shinderu or whatever. Yeah. You are already dead. You may already. You're cetera, already dead. Yep. Et cetera, et cetera. Uh, what's I'm... that? Uh, hold on. Hold on. I got it. Hold on. Hold on. Just just wait. Okay. Look, this, this is this is good if I can find it. Ah, uh, damn. Well, because it, it's roses are red, violets are blue. Oh, no, here it is. Yeah. Oh, my, wa, mo, shinde, you do. Shinde. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Well, unfortunately, looking at the time. score distribution for the first season, it doesn't look all that great. I'm sure that it's not very good. It's like a mean of 40%. It's Oof. sad. Yeah. It's pretty That's harsh. What about, what about this next one? It looks like it's... Uh, Thunderbolt Fantasy 2. Just looking at the small thumbnail, it looks like a K-drama, if I'm being Kinda honest. Does, oh, it's because it? it's 3D. That's why. Oh, yeah. No, it's 100% 3D. If I click overview, it doesn't tell me anything. This is a second season. Ooh, if I click watch, oh. that looks really bad animation. Ooh. Yeah. Hard pass no on this, bueno. I think. No bueno. Yeah. Uh, 273 people want to put up with that bad 3D animation. Oh. No, thank you. Yeah. Hey, look, a show that isn't a sequel to something. Yeah, but I bet it's historical boys being hot or something. Uli Jixing, a poor but talented high school boy. He is a ghost singer songwriter for the popular and narcissistic boy I- idol group who is very handsome but can barely sing. But he's handsome. Why is this all Chinese? I don't know. Japanese have a love hate relationship with Chinese things. Don't they? I, I'm just impressed that Japan managed to make lifelong enemies of China with their very first formal letter to the country. The first sentence of their very first formal letter to the country. You know. That takes talent. <laughs> uh, it doesn't sound interesting. It's hot boys it's singing. A music there show. is a girl, though. Hot boy. I'm apparently. not sure that these qualify as hot boys. Let's be clear. <laughs> I think the intent here was hot boys. It, that was the intent. How many people think that these are actual hot boys? 360. Ooh, a good round number. Eh, eh, it, eh, yeah, yeah, it's eh, nice and round. Eh. How about Ken and Ken Aoki Kaguyaki? It's an adaptation of a sword role playing game. That sounds bad. Hey, it ranks 17 highest for fall. I think this is number 17 of all the shows. So it is not 17th of all the shows. Oh, well, whatever. That's what it says of fall shows. Ah, average score 46. 407 users want to see this probably because they've played the game. What is this? Studio Dean or anything? It is Studio oh, Dean. Are you going to tell me any information? They're just like, it's based off of a game. It's, um, well, if you're yeah. not... I don't know anything about the game. Yeah, neither do I. Well, shut up. Go away. <laughs> All right, what's next? Bakumatsu. Bakumatsu. I mean, that's pretty... I uh, Bakumatsu. Do you know Bakumatsu? No. I mean, I know the word oh. Bakumatsu, but... the In the original game story... This is another game. Ugh. It's all video games. It's games all the way down these days. Sequels what, and what games. That's all we got at the bottom of, yeah, of mean, this list. Yeah. I guess that's why they're at the bottom of popularity. Anyway, the heroine is in Kyoto for sightseeing when she receives a mysterious pocket watch from a man. The heroine wears the watch and passes through the shrine's Tori gate, and she is transported to another Bakumatsu era 150 years ago during the final years of the Edo period. Now she got to find her way back home. Wasn't there a show... A time-traveling show from England just like that? Now they're all hot boys. It's going to be like they go back. He, it's an alternate universe with hot boys. Always. What was that thing mom was watching that's essentially that? Except in England. Mm-hmm. Oh, I have no idea. Uh, hi, is, it, is it Highlander or something? No, it wasn't Highlander. I know it's not, it's not Highlander, Ooh, but something I think it's like that. Outlander. That's it. That's the one. It's Outlander, the anime. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure it's Japan. bad. 580 people think it might be worth watching. Now, how about a Squeenix MMO done by JC staff? Um, I am mildly interested, but I'd have to know about the Square Enix MMO. I'm curious. Han Gyakusei Million Arthur. Does that even mean? I don't mean? know what this is, but I like it. <laughs> it's JC staff. They, they're, they're decent animators, at least. But I know nothing else about it. I'm just going to scrub through this PV. Yeah, looks like a... RPG. JC staff show. Yeah. I don't know if it looks like it, all the other JC staff shows, but it looks like RPG nonsense. Yeah. Hmm. Low budget. I got my, I, I got enough of that with stupid. Uh, what was that show you made me watch? You didn't like Konosuba, except she did. No, nah, I mean, it's okay. It's fine. Well, 680 people are excited 
four million Arthurs. <laughs> Couldn't they at least have the common decency to have a million fans? Come on. Uh, With just 13 more fans, this is the second season of a show I don't know. Simran <laughs> Kaguya something 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 something. Oh, I remember looking at this. It's breasts. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on, hold on. Just, just give me half a shake. Hear, hear me out. Okay, I'm hearing you out. Here we go. Here we go. Well, I'm sh- looking at this, yeah. Breasts. I mean, you're not wrong. Okay, how many people still don't know that you can watch porn for free on the internet? Uh, 693. It's not all porn. Just <sighs> mostly porn. Okay, in in the PV, seeing... there are not that many breasts. All right, instead of being teasing tits, uh, no, you can just see tits. I, uh, I just randomly clicked on the timeline <laughs> and I got a panty shot. Oh, I take back what I just I said. I told you! <laughs> Good lord. All right, okay, whatever. Okay. Skipping that. What's this? This actually looks like a real television... Uh, shoot, it's another video game. But what is it? Merkstoria. Hmm. And then a big long name that I won't try and pronounce. It's a fantasy strategy role-playing game set in a world Mukiroku where... Mukiroku no uh, so, uh, uh, shounen to bin no naka no shoujo. You're a braver man than I. Eh, well. Anyway, it's a fantasy strategy role-playing game set in a world where humans mm-hmm. and monsters coexist. Because they all are like that. Yeah, Main story, a boy appears with the power to heal those who clash and barks on a journey to restore the memories of his friend Merc, a girl, a girl trapped, trapped in, a, in bottle. a bottle. Come on. <laughs> 719 yeah. users. Hey, just, it's not hack, hey, but she's look, in a bottle this look, time. Well, hey, look, look, look. Uh-huh. If you want some girl that's at a disadvantage over a guy in a weird situation, just watch Midori no Hibi, which, you know, by all rights should be terrible, <laughs> but it's actually very good. But that's not a role playing game, is it? Oh, yeah, I guess so he doesn't have magical creatures. It just has a guy well, with a girlfriend. Well, he does have a magical <laughs> for girlfriend. You know, the show's way better than it has any right to be. <laughs> All right, how, how about Gakuin uh, Bas- uh, Basara? A school battle comedy parody reimagines the Warring States era oh, no. warriors of Capcom's action game franchise as rival students in a modern high school. I hate everything. I in that hate. I, I hate everything. Why anime was a mistake? Are we going to get to any shows that are worth watching this season? I, I How many don't people know. are going to subject themselves to this? Seven hundred and fifty-three. I don't even. All know. right, let's try again. Here we okay. go. This is based off of a manga, at least. Hooray! All right. What's this next one? Uh, ooh, it's another all Japanese name. All right. <clears throat> Dakaretai Otoko 1 I Ni. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the rest of it. This guy no has reigned as the idol industry's most huggable for five years. That is until ooh, this freshman more. actor shows up. He's always That's considered boys. brusque. Um, brusque. This is just, this is just going to be BL baiting hot boys. It's 100% BL baiting. Look at this. Okay, well, nine nine oh nine users are down to bait. Well, at least Crunchyroll has this, but I'm not gonna watch it. Okay, skip that. Okay, how about how about cute girls cheerleading? Can we just get like I'm okay with cute girls cheerleading. This is like the first normalish thing. This is normal. <laughs> this is back to normal anime. Anima yell. The story follows a girl, a first year high school student who is a bit clumsy and scared of heights. Oh no! Oh no! But who has a bubbly and outgoing personality. She decides to join the cheerleading club to try to make friends and overcome her weakness. Okay. Like Seems nice. This is normal. Seems nice. You know what? This reminds me of that show that you wanted that I couldn't get you to watch. That was cute girls doing the clacky clack dance. That's because they're doing a clacky clack dance. I like clacky clack dance. Uh, the animation's not super great, but, no, you know, but it looks cute. adorable. This is normal. It's fine. The show's normal. So far, it's best okay. of the season. <laughs> <laughs> anime, you heard it now. Anime yell best of season because it's just a normal anime. Oh, no, hold on. There's a new best. Not yet. It's like three things down, but I just see a skeleton holding books and I want to watch it. <laughs> okay. Katakuri Circus. The protagonist, Masadu, has just inherited a big fortune after the death of his father. However, people are trying to get their hands on it by any means necessary, even if, even if it means killing him. Just go watch JoJo. Da, 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 da. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, uh, he, someone is helping him to avoid being kidnapped after fighting some weird guys. He found out that they're not humans, but wooden puppets with amazing strength. Womp after, womp. But they're puppets. And, and then there's a, mean, a puppet. Are you sure? And they're from France. 
they're puppets from France and they're attached to people and they use their soul energy. So it's like a stand, only it's a puppet and different. Are you saying everything is it's, Jojo? Because you're not no, wrong. I'm just saying that this show thinks it's Jojo and it's not as good. But uh, the uh, 1,133 people think it's a suitable substitute. Aren't we getting the new Jojo this season anyway? We are. <laughs> yeah, then just go watch that. What are you doing? All right. How about uh, Gai Kotsu uh, Shotenen Honda-san? Honda-san is we're not, we're not there with yet. business. What? I'm not oh, yet. beans! That's a, it's a skeleton show. I'm just getting excited. No, you missed the Phoenix the Wright show. show. It's Phoenix Wright. I know, but this, but the last scene, Phoenix Wright show was middling. But I mean, if you want a rehash of the video games, it's fine. It's it's season two of that. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Over a thousand people are looking forward to that one. Eleven hundred thirty-nine. Okay. Good for them. How about? Ooh, this looks like a boob show with demons. Uh, Beelzebub Joel no Okini Mesu Mama. Moodin lands Lance. his dream job as the Demon King. He's always held in awe. But when his tenure begins, it turns out the Demon King isn't quite what he expected. It Because okay, uh, yeah. it's probably a, yeah, a yeah, chick. Because you have harem. All right, 1,200 users want harem show. Yeah, sure. Okay, now Honda's a skeleton. <laughs> Honda-san is at war with business, with out-of-print books, and with people who love manga. Who knew there were so many laughs to be found at a manga counter of a bookstore? It's just day-to-day -day happenings that takes place at a certain bookstore. Love of manga is abundant. I'm going to see this. If it actually stars the skeleton, I will be very pleased. Uh, let me look at the PV real quick. I think uh, it stars the skeleton. It's totally a skeleton. <laughs> it stars the skeleton. Best show. It's There's probably also a, a man show, with, a, with a rabbit hat on all the time and a plague doctor. And I don't know what's going on in this PV. I'm very confused. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a gag show that's just like five, uh, 15 minutes. I'm fine with that. Though I imagine if you uh, work retail, it will be very funny. So I'm sure it will be fine. Either way, it stars a skeleton. Therefore, best show of the season. <laughs> it will be on Crunchyroll. Uh, 1,209 users know skeletons are the best. They are the best. They have nothing to hide. All right, what's next? Oh, it's by Gonzo. They're at least real. Hinomaru Zumo. It's a divine ritual, a martial art, a s combat sport. It's sumo. Is this about oh. sumo? It's a show about sumo. It's high school kids, but they're doing sumo. I That's kind of cool. Those. And Gonzo's doing it. Hmm. Well, let's see the animation here. Oh, this is this does suffer from beefy body, tiny head. Well, you kind of expect that. It. I mean, it's sumo. I don't actually recall ever seeing a sumo sports anime. Yeah, I know, right? Huh. Okay. I'm kind of okay with this. I'd be cool with this. Yeah, this seems fine. All right, we've we've this found kid, something that this kid is, actually may be worth yeah. watching. This kid looks as ripped as Deku. Oh, is he fighting for his sick mom? Yes. <laughs> oh no, probably sick sister. Even better. All right. Either way, that show actually looks decent. Next, we have Conception, also by Gonzo, and and all these super cute girls. I wonder. <laughs> oh my, Conception. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Let's the see story of the game revolves around. Oh, it's girl. a video game show. It's going to suck. A high school student Life's finds out on the day of his graduation ceremony that his cousin and childhood friend is pregnant. Uh oh. Oh, yes. Well, Immediately they're afterward, <laughs> they're taken to a magical world called Gravania, oh, uh, which is currently being no, invaded by monsters. What in the world? Hey, well, come on. Then there are 12 <laughs> shine maidens and. The constellations. Monsters. Hey, wasn't that just Forza? Uh, to defeat all the monsters, they have to have babies. I don't know. To be fair, it is Gonzo. So. In order to defeat the monsters and return to their own world. Oh, there you go. I was right. Izuka must father the star children with the maidens. Woohoo! Sounds <laughs> thrilling. No, 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 don't want. This sounds bad. That sounds really bad. There's a lot of problems 15, with this one. Okay, hang on, hang on. 1,500 people do not think this, this premise is inherently problematic. So I want you to click on the page for Conception. Yeah. And it this is. is the saddest thing I've ever seen. Remember that status distribution about who is planning, current, paused, etc.? Yeah. Look how many people are planning to watch this. I know, it's far too many. That's way too many. No, that's... No. I'm... It's no good. I'm sad no bueno. by this news. No bueno. Let's move on to Sora to Umi no Aida. Aida, Sky to Ocean? Story is set in... Onomichi, Hiroshima, in the oh. year 20XX. Fish disappear from the sea around the world, and only whales live in the ocean. Mm, okay, this sounds like a Hitchhiker's Guide so far. The Ministry of Fishery decides to set up a giant ex experimental universe fish tank in space. What? Okay, <laughs> sure, why not? 
then female fishermen are in high demand due to the strengthening of an equal employment law for men and women. Six new female space fishermen are selected, and the story centers you know? on their su- on supporting their growth. Okay, well, first off, at least more people want to watch this weirdo thing than Conception, so I'm already happy. Also, they said space fishermen, and I'm very excited. Hey, do you remember Tsuritama? That had a face space fisherman. Oh, but it looks what like was- this is bad. What was that Tsuritama? That show that was highly regarded about trash men in space. Oh, yeah, that show's good. Planetase. Planetase, Planetase. is very good. So this they is Planetase, like but infinite fish. More fr- but fish. They use infinite more frames than every other show for the zero-G effect. Well, Yeah, this seems kind of stupid, but I kind of like it. I don't know. It seems okay. Really dumb. It's like, but, hey, let's do this know, normal but thing, dumb. but just put it in space. Now it's an anime. I mean, I'm okay with that. Oh, wait. Sora to Umi no Aida is based on a video game? What? What video? Are you the fisherman in the video game? <laughs> I hope so. If you are, yes. <laughs> That's delightfully weird. I love it. All right. Okay. Double Decker. Double Decker, Doug, so and Kitty. This is Kiddo. original. Uh, city state of something or other. Two suns rise above the city, and the people here live peaceful lives, but in the shadows, crime and illegal drugs run rampant. Among them is the dangerous, highly lethal drug Anthem, which casts a dark shadow over the city. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't he turn into a giant boat and and Sora fought him? Maybe. I think it was Anthem, not Anthem. You sure? It's close. It's close. I'm pretty pretty sure he turns into (laughs) Zinmuth. This is for my joke of saying Zinmuth. Wow. Uh, the seven zero special crimes investigation unit specializing in cracking down on an- anthem. Now you got me saying anthem. <laughs> Good. This unit <laughs> operates in two man buddy teams, which are called the double decker system. Why? Why don't I just call them partners? Because well, like, partners, really, yeah. everybody does that. Doug and Kiddill are paired up. Hmm. All right. Well, Stuff I happens. mean, first off, it's a mystery action. It's by sunrise, so it might not be too bad. But these outfits are way too wacky. Oh, that's cute. If you click on it, the actual, if you click on the thing, the header they have for the show actually looks way better than the little thumbnail. Yeah, it looks more normal. Right, let's take a look at this. That one guy looks like Kiritsugu. I mean, he even has the guns oh. and the bullets. Yeah, this this actually looks way more interesting. The The little thumbnail did it no... Uh, it's no a crime drama, essentially. Yeah, yeah. No, this actually looks pretty okay. How many people are excited Gun about this one? always undercuts are the future. Ooh, 14th highest rated fall of 2018. Yeah, no, this looks pretty okay. Huh. Uh, 1,690 people are excited Yeah, that about thumbnail that. looks really bad. Probably, the thumbnail looks bad because their outfits are a little ridiculous and they're extremely well lit in that. But it's like a noir show, so they they look better when they're when it's dimly colored. So I mean, if you're just listening to this and you can't see it, it they all look like Final Fantasy 13 outfits. Oh, yeah, they're way ridiculous. But when you see it in the PV, it's a little bit better. Oh, it looks like they have magic bullets. Of course oh, they know, have magic bullets. Oh, you know, this looks pretty bullets. okay. Look, if they've got caster bullets, I'm pretty okay. Double Decker looks fine. I, What's I up might give next? It a watch. Akanasasu Shoujo, a group of girls living in a, a small girls city, gather to enact a ritual. They're called the Crystal Radio Research Society. Uh, da, da, da. The ritual was merely an urban legend, but events coalesce, and what started as just a play becomes much more. Mm. Okay, no. that's not much of a hook. No, I need more of a hook. Of what the... people are interested. Let's check out the PV. Maybe it's okay. Anime, The Girl in Twilight. Holy crap. So I just clicked through it and like one of them has a gun arm for some reason. I don't know what's happened. Huh. Some ritual. <laughs> yeah, evidently. There's, there's demon snakes. I don't, what? Okay. Interesting. I don't know anything about it, but it could be. And they probably go okay. to a parallel world or something based on a video game. Should be fine. Yeah. Is it original? It's probably fine. Based on something? Based on a, it's original. No. All right. How about Ingress instead? Ingress. This is based off a game. Oh, so it is. It's based off the Ingress game. I don't know Ingress. It's... Oh, Ingress. Like Ingress? Like Pokemon Go Ingress? Yeah, that. Can you make a show based on that? No, I'm done. I'm, <laughs> I'm out. I'm pretty sure hey, it's Hey, Golden Kamui's second season. No, it I is. bet you're right. No, it is. All right, then I don't care. No. How many people play Ingress? Uh, 1,849 people are going to watch the show, and I think that's the total number of people in the world that play Ingress. So I think that tracks. Oh. All sad. right. <laughs> Next up is the second season of Golden Kamui, which I hear is good, but I've not yet watched. It is good. Once it's all out, I'll probably watch all of it. It's very good. It's very culture based. I really like this first season. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably watch it once both seasons are done. And nineteen hundred and eighty-six other people have good taste, like me. 
We're almost done. Oh, there's still so much more to go through. Ugh. All right, what's next? Sudorune. And other words. Oh, it's an archery show. Hot boys doing archery. Hooray. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm okay with that, just because archery's cool. Oh, it's a... Oh, never mind. It will be good. You know who's doing it? Who's doing it? Oh. Kill Annie. So these will be very hot boys doing very high frame rate. <laughs> well, at least <laughs> it'll look frame good. rate archery. Look at all these particle oh, effects in the that. PV. Oh, look at that animation. That's good. Look at those character designs. Oh. Yeah, it'll look good. Oh, okay. So. It'll look real pretty. And it'll have very high frame rate archery because Kill Annie has more money than everyone else. Let's see. 2,004 people are excited about hot boys shooting arrows. I mean... That's fair. It's by Kill Probably Annie. Can you be like, no, love thank you. arrows. Ooh, I hope. How about release the spice? Yes. I hear it must flow. It must. Momo may be a quiet high school student at school, but she's the newest recruit. But of she private. doesn't. But she fails to walk without rhythm and, in fact, attracts the worm. OK, well, I mean, that's fair. Uh, I think she attracts an owl from the picture up here. Anyway, I now she must survive that. both her training and missions to fight against a global crime organization. You know, I, mean, I do have to say that that description and this this thumbnail make it look like it's from 1996. I'm OK with that. I was just thinking earlier today before we got to this. I wish more shows looked like they used to without the Moe face. Oh, no, this is like bad 1996. But this, this still has Moe face. Release the spice. Yeah, it does. Mm, yeah, no, thanks. It is. It does it, like watching the PV. It does look a whole lot like a 90s show. I, I will say I just had a horrible thought. What if somebody what? decided to do Dune as an anime, except they they're all Moe blobs, and David Lynch is still somehow involved? He, he's still doing his voice, except he's reading Japanese, even though he doesn't know Japanese. That's what I would do. Yeah, it, it looks like somebody plopped some Moe blobs into a 1996 anime. Hmm. I am confused by this PV. How many people are excited about this? 2014. Huh. Well, I am. Let's see. Confused, Next, we have interested. Ulysses, Jean Dark to Rinki no Kishi. The Who's novel Joan series Mark? story takes place in 15th century France during the Hundred Years' War with England. Uh, this guy, son and of a breasts. noble, immerses and himself in the study of magic and alchemy. However, after France's breasts. defeat, the school is disbanded and he's forced to flee. And then he meets a ma miraculous vill village girl named Jean. Uh, no, she, he meets a whole lot of breasts is what he does. I mean, he might. Uh, do you do you see that thumbnail? I do see the Are thumbnail. Are you watching this PV? Looking through the PV, I don't see a whole lot of scandal. It'll be all breasts all the time. Doesn't look it, actually. Oh, how about a projection IG show? Kaze ga tsu yo, yoku uh, furiteru. This series is centered on Tokyo Hakone Round Trip College Ekiden Race. One of the biggest university marathon relay races in Japan. The race ah, is held like every year thing. and goes on between Tokyo and Hakone and back mm -hmm. for a total run of 135 miles. Good Lord. Good Lord. Hot boys That's run. Sports anime. Uh, they're not super hot, which, you know, actually makes it a little bit better in my book. Looks all right. If you're into sports anime. How many people want to watch him run? 2,220. Just needed two more. Oh, uh, yeah. How many people wanted to see some guy in France look at boobs? Oh, wow, just ten less. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, how about Origa Suki Nanoa Imo... Oh, no. Oh, no, I know that next word, and I am so down for this show. Emoto. <laughs> Emoto. Dakedo Emoto Janai. Oh, dear. I'm in love with my sister, but it's not my sister? <laughs> I see where no. all the... Yeah, we all know where this is headed. <laughs> All right, so go ahead, hit me up, read it. She's a beautiful third-year middle school student who has excellent grades as the student and is the student council president. She wrote a novel about a little sister who dotes on her older brother, and the novel wins the Light Novel Award. After they discuss the matter, her older brother is the one who debuts as a proxy light novel author instead of her. Because she secretly likes him. Yeah, of course. Out of the way, hijinks and shoe, it's at least a comedy, but how many people have extremely poor taste slash extremely great ciscons? taste in the Moto Chans? We have 2391 Siscons. And you should know, all be ashamed of yourselves. I always wanted to get called on in Japanese class, being because uh, one of the common questions was, you know, uh, why do you want to homestay? And I just wanted to stand up and just deadpan, just go, Imoto Dakada, <laughs> and sit down. <laughs> That's what I always wanted to do. 
It's like, here is why. <laughs> That's terrible. Can't argue, can't argue with that. <clears throat> and the police are All involved. right, so how about, how about <laughs> Uchi no Mega Uzawa? Sugiru. This manga centers on Misha, a little girl who lost her mother at an early age and now lives with her father. Her father employs a maid named Tsubame, who was a former self-defense force okay. official and I'm is okay also a lollicon. <laughs> yeah, but I'm kind of okay with this. Mostly because I, I think that this is more rife with decent humor than the previous one. Mostly because she's also a self-defense person and has an eye patch. Oh, yeah. It's not like a uh, combat butler. This is like an actual no, this... maid who's a lady, which may make it not as bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm still I'm highly kind of problematic. Okay but... I'm not. I'm okay. not gonna watch it, but I kind. I'm kind of down. Uh, Twenty three hundred ninety two people are also made lollipops. Hey, at at least it ranks higher than Orega Suki Nanowa Imoto Dakedo Imoto Janai. Yeah. All right. How about Tonari no Kyuketsuki san? My neighbor, the vampire. -san. Due to a strange oh, incident, I knew that name. Akari is rescued by a vampire girl named Sophie Twilight, and she becomes interested in her. That's it. It's my friend, right. my neighbor, the vampire. Kyuketsuki. I thought I knew that word. I don't know. It's like, how it do sounds I know that adorable. word? It's like, oh, it's vampire. Does she jump? Does she jump? Uh, looks like they have tea and their sparkly eyes and they have oh, friend they times. just have fun. They, they just have friend times with her and her vampire friend. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yes, please. Seems okay. 13th highest okay. rated this fall. And this is cute, cute girls being vampires. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. How about radiant? Radiant. This story follows it Seth. follows Seth. Okay. A All boy right. who seeks to become a great magician and a group of witches who seek, hey, witches. To, who seek to travel to the Radiant. Radiant is a mythical land that spawns monsters called Nemeses. Okay, this is too many keywords already. Which fall to the world from the sky. While traveling, they are also hunted by the Inquisition. That's too many keywords. But it does have witches. But I do like witches. Mm. Alright, I'm going to have to see this PV to see if these are good witches or bad witches. Whoa, the original creator is an American guy named Tony. Oh, well then I don't care. I'm done. He's not the director. He's just the guy who came up. With How about S S S Gridman? What? S S S S S Gridman. Do we pronounce each S or is it just S? I don't know, but it's by trigger. Okay, well it could be good. Hold on. Do they do they sit do they sit in the mech with their butts touching? I mm. That's their good that's question. the real question. <laughs> do they touch butts? Because I do like S S S no Gridman. Uh, Yuta awakens with amnesia and the ability to see things that others cannot. He first encounters a grid man in the reflection of his friend Rika's computer, and it tells him to remember his calling. But Yuta doesn't understand what this means. Later, in the distance, he sees an extremely large monster, but it doesn't move. It's only when Yuta gets to school that the two sightings make sense. The monster attacks the hero Yuta, and the hero Yuta saw in the computer's screen pulls him within the computer and transforms Yuta into a giant hero named Gridman. Ha. Huh. Strange. But it's triggered, it's triggered. Though, right? Like you can you can give it any sort of like weird premise. You're like, yeah, but you gotta watch like half of it to know if it's gonna be good. There's and then something terrible will happen. Either way, right I mean, middle. it looks like it's an Ultraman show. It looks like some. It's like Trigger is trying to take on Ultraman, which is pretty cool. It could be good. Cautiously, cautiously optimistic. Could be good. Just because Trigger trying to do Ultraman makes me curious. Two thousand nine hundred sixty-seven people, people are excited for that. I mean, that's different. That's decent. All right. <clears throat> Kishiku Gaku no Juliet. The Grigio Academy Boarding School. The students that attend this school come from two countries, and they reside in their own dormitories. Uh, these two girls are leaders. Uh, of rival dorms, but rival they secretly dorms. love each other. Ooh. Mm, yes, please. Now they have to keep Beauty. their relationship a secret from their dorm mates, or else bad things will happen to them. That's literally what it says. <laughs> it does. It's comedy <laughs> romance. Don't care. But how many people want to see cute girls kiss or not kiss, but maybe kiss, but almost kiss uh, 3100. Mm. All right. Now, I know some people care about zombie land saga. I could care about nothing less, but hit me. Why should I care about zombie land saga? I don't know. A typical morning, the usual music, the normal lives, the peace of se these seven girls experience will suddenly be destroyed by the living dead. A reality right. that they never wanted to be part of. An amazing and terrifying zombie world. They all share one wish. We want to live. These girls will struggle I mean, through the saga speaking. in order to achieve a miracle. Oh, it's a comedy horror show, though. I mean, that's kind of cool. I don't know. 
Maybe. I might watch an episode. Yeah, like if it doesn't take itself seriously, it could actually be pretty solid. As long as it's not another High School of the Dead. We don't need another one of those. Uh, yes, please. Uh, who, how many people are excited about this one? 3,959. Uh, that is quite a jump. Sure is. That's like a thousand more than the last one. Eighth highest rated over the, in the fall. Hmm. Could be good. I mean, it seems like it could be. The fact that it's a comedy is the only thing that saves it yeah. for me. How about Yagata Kimi ni Naru? Mm. You has always dreamt of receiving a love confession, but feels nothing when a boy gives her one. Confused, she starts her first year of high school and meets the beautiful Nanami, who makes her heart oh, skip oh. a beat. <laughs> beat. I see where this is going. Uh, turns out she likes girls. Yes, Shaku. Uh, sh <laughs> shock. All right. Um... Yeah, it looks like 4,200 people want to watch that, which is absolutely fair. Yeah, it's probably fine. All right. <clears throat> Next. Iruzaku Sekai no Ashitakara. In Nagasaki, a descendant of oh, no. mages. Mages. Magical high school. Oh, come on. 17-year-old Hitomi lost this? her sense of color at a young age and grew up lacking emotion. Her grandmother, a great mage, sends Hitomi to the past to the year 2018. There, she spends time with a 17-year-old Kohaku and friends from club activities. Okay. It's magical high school. Well, at least one person hey, is magical. Hey, you know what, though? What? You know what's next? Hang on. Jojo. Well, what? Okay. How what about Jojo? It is Jojo, but 4,600 people are excited about this one. Okay, yeah, but Jojo. Jojo. Which one is this? Jojo 4? 5? Jojo Fifth 5. Arc. I like how the art style in, in Jojo keeps getting more and more, like, ridiculous. Oh, no. I mean, that's the best part, right? At some point. Uh, what, what do you need to know? It's Jojo 5. It's going to be really good. I feel like at some point they're just going to start rotoscoping everything. It'll be just bonkers. Uh, well, no. at, at some point, he just reset, He just tells his own AU. Going to be nuts. How many people are excited for that? After that, it's some light novel show. Seishun Buta Yaru wa Bunny Girl Senpai no Yume no mi, uh, Minai. Wo Minai. I want a Bunny Girl In Senpai. Mysterious? There is a rumor about a mysterious phenomenon called puberty syndrome. Is it called puberty? For example, Protag is a high school student who suddenly sees a bunny girl appear in front of him. The girl's actually a girl named um, Mai Saka name, uh, who is Protag's upper class classman, who is also a famous actress who's gone on hiatus from the entertainment industry. For some reason, the people around Manai can't see her bunny girl figure. He has solved the mystery of why they're... Because he's, cause he's a teenage boy who's so horny. So the mystery here... That's why. ...is he keeps seeing his senpai in a bunny girl outfit and no one else does. It's clearly an allusion to puberty because... Yeah, because... He's, he's lusting he's, after he's girls. He's a horny boy. Because he, he, that's what boys do. He's a is horny doing. boy. Because he's a horny boy. So he hangs out with her. And they probably go on dates. They probably kiss. Hey, how about no... How, okay, how many people... How many people want to see... 5,700. Horny boys. Fair enough. Hey, how about more Magical Index? Uh, Wait, this is Index? This mixed isn't... Mixed feelings. Index is the good one. No, no. A certain scientific rail gun that's Rail good. gun is the ah, good beans. one. Index sucks. Ah, well, ah, beans. well, let me reiterate. It's, it's not Index sucks. It's Index. Index the character is like the literal worst. But Railgun yeah, is amazing. I'll beans. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll watch more Mento, of I was like, is this Railgun? It's like, no, it's Index, Beans. Certain scientific Railgun's way better. Oh. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. How many people don't know that Certain Scientific Index is the better show? 6,000. Railgun. Railgun is the better show. Index is... Railgun is the better show. Yeah, right. What's up next? Uh, more Tokyo Ghoul. More Tokyo I've never Ghoul. seen. It's supposed to be good, you know? It but, you probably know, is, care. but there's too much of it. Yeah. Same thing with Fairy much. Tale. Yeah, well, that's just a shonen show, so, like, I don't care. It's the final season of Fairy Tale. Is it, though? Mm. No, because after Fairy Tale, we'll get Boru Tale. <laughs> and they'll just be their kids. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. You're not I know wrong. I'm not wrong. You know how these work. I do. Okay, how about Goblin Slayer? Okay, hold on. Let's back up. Okay, how many people know Ghoul is probably a better show than I give it credit for? 6,200. How many people are still watching Fairy Tale? 6,700. Okay, got it. Yeah, so Goblin okay, Slayer. Okay, how about a D&D &D show? Let's, let's get a D&D &D show. A young priestess has formed her first adventuring party, but almost immediately they find themselves in distress. It's the Goblin Slayer who comes to the rescue, a man who's dedicated his life to extermination of all goblins oh, by any genocidal. means necessary. Oh, this is Kraith. And when rumors of his feats begin to circulate, there's no telling who might come calling next. Why is this rated so high? Is there a reason? I don't know. 
It's the third most popular this season. Yeah, why? I oh. I don't know. Let me look at this PV real quick. Mm, yeah. Do, do, do. Be like, um, there's got to be a reason. Animation looks cool. I mean, that got that going for it. And it's got... I saw some dice, so it may be like a literal... Oh, there's boobs. There may be like literally D&D. Yeah. Un unsure. It's got hot elves in it. Yeah, I don't know. You want hot Please. elves and a mage chick? Seems it's probably all right. No, no, no! I can't do this. Oh yeah, boobs! I can't do this <laughs> because here's the problem. This is the school days problem. Oh, I if I watch this, I'm just falling for the school days. Because school days, everybody starts sleeping with the pro tag because everybody hears that everybody's sleeping with the pro tag. So there must be a reason to sleep with the pro tag. So in this. It's the same deal. If I watch this because everybody says I should watch this, but there's no good reason for me to watch this, and I should watch it to find out why everybody wants to watch it, <laughs> that's no good. Um, that's circular logic there. Though this animation does look pretty stellar. Yeah, it looks line. pretty cool. I could probably watch an episode or two of this. All right. See what, How about see this? Here's number, here's number two. Okay. It's a light novel, fantasy adventure. Tensei Shitara Slime uh, Dataken. Lonely 37 oh, no. year old no, is no, stuck no, in no, a dead no, end no, job, no, unhappy no, with his no, Monday no. life. But after no, no, dying no. at the hands of a robber, no, no. he awakens to a fresh start in a oh, fantasy he's realm. the slime? As a slime okay, no, monster. I'm, okay, now, all right. I should have waited for you to finish. As if he acclimates to his goopy new existence, his exploits with <laughs> okay. the other monsters set off a all chain right. of events that will forever change <laughs> okay. this new world. <laughs> <laughs> you got me because I was like, come on, why am I going to watch an isekai? Oh, he's the slime. <laughs> OK, all right. You, you got me. Oh, uh, it's like Overlord, except he's the slime monster. He's the slime. I, I like this premise. Yeah, all right. That's a good pitch. OK. All right. Oh, good. Maybe <laughs> you may have got me just the fact that he's a f slime. Uh, Seventy one hundred eighty four people want to watch slime. I mean, monster. He, I mean, he's a slime slime coon. All right, and the next and the number one show isn't worth mentioning because it's literally not worth it's mentioning. It's the third season of Sword Art Online. I told you no, it wasn't worth mentioning. No, thank you. Hey, Banana Fish is continuing this season. Let's talk about that instead. Did you keep up with Banana Fish? I didn't, but I watched like I think three or four episodes. It was really good, but life happened, so I wasn't able to I mean, continue. Apparently, it's really really good. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, Tonagawa is continuing. Uh, if you like, yeah. if you like. Uh, Kaiji, apparently, Tony Gawa was really, really good. I didn't particularly like Kaiji. Nothing else is really right, continuing. So, 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 mentioning. so what? So what looks what looks worth watching? Up here? Right, I will give it that Slime Show and Goblin Slayer might be worth watching. Uh, JoJo, of course, Zombieland Saga, Gridman, maybe Railgun, but not really. It's not Railgun. It's Index. Okay. Oh, uh, my my neighbor Tsurune and Release Vampire the Spice. Ah. It looks cute. I want to be more into that than I am. It I mean, maybe cute. it's good. This is slice life comedy. It should be my thing, but for some reason, I just don't feel it. Uh, Golden Kamui, obviously. Golden Kamui. I would watch uh, Tsurune, maybe release the spice, just because I'm confused. It depends if it le leans more moe or if it leans more 90s. And also Skeleton Honda-san, obviously. And Skeleton Honda-san and maybe Double Decker. Double Decker might be good. Oh, and Sumo Show. Sumo Show and the cheerleading show, Anima Yell. Yeah, cheerleading show might be good. I think that's probably it. Yeah. And none that, of these... That's what I'm going with. Like, absolutely none of these, I feel like, yeah, I have to watch that. Except know, maybe right? JoJo. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of... Despite what the internet says, <sighs> I'm not picking. excited about this season. Are people actually excited about this season? Or is the meme that people are excited about this season? I think people are excited that there is more opportunities for new memes. But... I mean, that's fair. As that's, far that would be my, as actual my, entertainment... Well, the know. fact that the out of the top five shows, three of them are just like extra seasons of stuff mm -hmm. means that it's like and the other two are fantasy shows and one of them is a comedy show. That's not usually the way things go, right? That's true. Usually action fantasy or action adventure or action mystery shows are in the top, um, at least on any chart. But considering that there's a comedy and then three like repeat shows are in the top five uh, doesn't speak. Too I've just come to, to expect like Overlord the second season of some shown in and then some original show that's like really complex or something that's actually trying hard. Yeah. And then some yeah. other stuff, but here it's just, I mean, I'm sure it's fine, but I'm just not excited about it. Yeah. But we'll see. Well, anyway, those are our picks. 
why don't you let us know what your picks are and why our opinions are totally wrong. Hit us up on our opinions Facebook and Twitter. Correct. And we will probably respond to you because we have nothing better to do with our lives. <laughs> I won't. I will. I'll do it. So I'll put all the links to the shows that we think are at least worth checking out down in the show notes. You can have at it and see what you think. And we will see you next time. Oh, my God.